Hi, Greg. All right, I'm going to do your 30 minutes of spiritual healing now. So we're just going to go in and we're going to make you feel like a million dollars, whatever we find to help you smile today. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to relax and then we'll get started, all right? So... So if the start of the picture is just I'm seeing a man and he's sitting in a chair and there's his legs and there's a very light touch just on the top of the leg. So it's quite interesting because the sensation is almost like a fairy is there. A fairy is there to touch your leg right like that real softly. And there's kind of like a small giggle about it as well. I don't not know what this has up its sleeve. <laughs> Whenever there's fairies involved, you just don't know what's going to happen next. <laughs> it's really sweet, though, and it's charming. It's a very sweet feminine laugh, and it's very sincere. And it's just a light touch on the top of the leg right now. It's all very slow in motion. I mean, that continues to focus on the specific leg. Let me see. If I was sitting in the other direction, so um, let me see. I right to left, left to right. That side of your that leg right there. <laughs> My right is that leg. <laughs> it's just like there's blue jeans on. The, there's blue on the leg. There, we're standing on it. We're like little people standing on your leg. And we're just sort of walking up the leg right now. There's work being done here, but it's quite confusing. It just nothing is really being said. I'm going to just relax and go slow because the energy is very slow. It wants to go deeper, but it's not allowing it yet. Deeper into your senses, deeper into who and what you are. And we're just sitting here waiting for you to open up and let us go deeper. There's quite an energy sort of blockage and it's it looks it just looks like clear jello and it is from the top of the head down to sort of the pelvic region. And so it kind of looks like you have a snowman of jello, clear jello around you. So we're just going to dissolve that and then go further, okay? So we're dissolving that. In the process of dissolving it, there is some sort of man coming out of the gut region. He actually has a suit on and everything. He even has a badge. He's even showing it to me like he's a police officer stuck inside your intestines or something. He's turning into like a child's toy and we're just pulling him out. He's completely not, has no, nothing to say. He, there's nothing else associated with this. There's a lot of energy work to do here in this stomach region, intestinal region. And there's a lot of red sort of liquidy jello in here that needs to go. It's just an energetic reflection of what where the, what is the balance and that is not the balance so we're cleaning it up we're purifying this we're doing quite a wash here we're using oxygen energy like get it really full of oxygen and we're scrubbing it and it kind of looks like bubbles like soap like we're giving you like a soap bath but it's all oxygen in there lots of oxygen and water and just good good energy reflections for the body it's just dissolves it oxygen really helps to dissolve just what isn't the value this is all white and bubbly is what it looks like it's scrubbing it out it's cleaning it in a really light and happy way it's continuing to dissolve it It's quite a lot to dissolve here. It's still working. There's other things that need done. There's so as that is going on, so we dissolve that jelloy thing. There's some things going on here in the stomach region. So we're cleaning that up. In the process of that, 
there's an odd like the mouth opens and a really long tongue comes out like like it would be like a cuckoo on a cuckoo clock but there's nothing on the tongue it's just ah uh, like the tongue comes straight out and there's some sort of odd energy with the head is sort of getting morphed out there's there's a lot going on with you it's more than i could keep up with in language there's sort of a shadowy image right back here, so we'll do something with that. And then there's an odd rocket ship blasting off from just sort of the center region, like solar plexus, but a little bit above that, sort of heart portal region. Literally a spaceship blasting off. There's a lot of joy and laughter, and this energy is entering into you. There's literally sounds of very sweet and charming laughter, and it's so sincere, and it's not just, we're not laughing at you, I mean, it's literally just the sound of joy, it sounds like laughter, and it's real loving, it's really loving, and it's really touching you everywhere, but really sinking into the heart where it really wants to touch your heart, is what it's doing, it's so sweet. I mean, I feel really moved and I feel, I feel like this means a lot to me is what it sounds like. It's the sound is just means a lot to me. I'm just being patient because this is, you need this. This is worth it. If this is all we got done this whole time, I mean, this is huge. That's how, how intense and meaningful this is to hear, to feel to experience you're in we're creating an a, ability to like the you have a mouth here on your heart and it's going <gasps> and it's breathing in the sounds and the loving energy it's really nourishing it's amazing in the process, though, there's something has to happen with this throat and this tongue. I don't know what this is about, so I'm just going to keep focusing here. It won't show, it won't say anything more as the image is, just goes through a lot of different morphing. The face kind of morphs. There's a quick, like, the face just shakes back and forth really fast, and the tongue's still sticking out. There's still something about this throat, but it's not all the way down to the like the shoulders of the neck, but it's just more of the upper area. I'm putting hands on the head here and then channeling an energy to help create balance and release what is not balanced. Then I'm still supposed to tell you there's cleaning work still being done in the digestive region. There's a lot to balance in this space here. Just a lot to balance here. And so that's still still doing its job while we're simultaneously doing these other things. <laughs> There's still love that is channeling into your heart portal as well while we're also focusing on the head. There's some angels coming down here. There's something very relaxed, very patient, smooth, and so sincere about these angels. It's fascinating because one's male, one's female, but they almost look the same. They both have long hair, and it's kind of got a little bit of a wave to it. And it's not, it's kind of fine, so it's not real thick either. And so the male, I mean, he looks like a man, she looks like a female, but they almost look like, like, like fraternal twins or something. And one's male and one's female. And there's a blue hue to their sort of white energy. They're, one's touching one shoulder, one's touching the other shoulder. They're sharing their energy with your head region. They're using, they're blowing and it's creating wind. And they're doing that towards your head. that's so soft and so gentle and it helps release some sort of contaminated energy in here. It's just, I mean, that could be anything. It could be just stress, thoughts that are real heavy. Maybe you get headaches sometimes. It could be anything. 
it kind of it has i mean it looks like it it literally looks like mud or like really just black poop or something it just that needs to come out of there <laughs> so so it's just it's yucky is what i mean the only way to describe it is yucky so something that makes you feel yucky in your mind sometimes yucky feelings i mean just something that just feels yucky is the only way you can describe it is a reflection of that so removing it from your head they're really wanting you to drink a lot of water they're really saying drink guzzle up the water let's get gallons and gallons of water let's just flood you out <laughs> let's really get you full of water <laughs> This guy needs another water. He's <laughs> something about that. <laughs> it's just really good for flushing out your system. There's something about that. It just feels like it just feels like it's really thirsty. It just needs water. Let's see. They love you so much. I mean, the energy coming from these blue-hued angels, they're gorgeous. It just so is so patient. It's very relaxed, it's very sincere, and it's it's so mellow, too, and it just channels in really smoothly, slowly, and extremely effectively. There's something watery about them. I mean, they're even like water, turning into like water droplets or something. They're blowing into your mind again. They're sort of blowing one from either side and the wind blends together and then it just goes into your mind from the back forward and then clearing, cleaning and clearing it out with air, so oxygen and this sort of water as well. Some sort of water also that they're blowing into it, to the head. And it's got a lovely cool sensation to it. It's even cooling down. It just sort of creates a cool sensation. It's just cool here too. There's more. The yucky is now coming on the tongue and then coming out. So there's that's really helping. There There's a lot of just release of just... I don't know, it's like we're shaking the system and then helping some of this old goo ball come out. You need a really good nap. I can definitely feel it. This is gonna, this is a really good shimmy shake on your body. And so it's gonna require you to drink water and then get some rest too. So this is good for you. This is really a focus on the physical body over the emotions or the mental or anything like that. It's really a focus on the physical body. They say we're here for you. We help you through everything. I mean, there's invisible people, like literally they're touching your hand. I mean, you're surrounded by a lot of entities that really love you i mean fairy that little fairy girl <laughs> those two angels and then there's a lot of invisible sort of spiritual entities sort of around you in a circle around you and they're all it's like they're all touching your hand and looking into your eyes looking into your heart and really really wanting to look into you and share their love with you in a way that you can feel it from the inside it really wants to they really want to touch you deeply they want to make an impression on your life they really love you there's something about this blue hue as well it kind of is creating a like a spiritual flame now they're allowing the flame to gently it's starting at the feet and then it's gently going up the legs and all the way up the legs to your hips and then all the way up and then down the shoulders, down your arms, and then up through your head, all of that. So it's just, you're Im being immersed in a really lovely blue flame. It's odd because it's almost, it's almost like it's cool, but it's definitely, it's helping cleanse out impurities on the inside of you is what this is. 
never felt a blue flame like that before. I usually see it really dark, but this is a, like a light blue color. It's like a soft blue and even has a, almost like a dark blue that a lot of white paint got put into, you know, and then just to lighten it up and there's some whiteness to it as well. It's, it's really in there to help purify your body. It's just dissolving. It's like, <laughs> eat away all the little negative little things that we can find in there. And it's just hungry, 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 hungry. Eat more, eat more, eat more. And so it's just really helping to, you know, the shimmy shake. Now we put this blue flame in there. It's just eating away all the little crumbs that got shook up there. But it's really focusing. I mean... The fo they are showing me muscle tissues, bone tissues. They're showing me the body. It is eating away negative energies throughout the body. And they're really emphasizing drink more water. They keep saying that. I mean, they're saying a lot. Drink more water and more oxygen, as in get more fresh air and stuff. And that's really going to help you. Help you feel awesome every day. You're on the, I mean, you are on the verge of feeling awesome every day. And all you have to do is drink more water and go for walks. <laughs> That's literally it. <laughs> There's an odd red, I mean, it's like a red eagle or something. It's kind of a symbolic image. And it's coming out from your back and it's going backward like that. It was like a symbol and then it just came, it just went out the back of you and then was released from you. And there's, they're wanting me to examine the shadow that was back there. I just, oh man, the pictures are just, I mean, it was really quick shifting pictures right there. I mean, okay. Basically, enter into a dark room. There's nothing here but a dark room and then a, just a rocking chair. Nobody here. As I'm sort of examining it, instantly I go into what is like a boy being in the clutches of something. Like even inside of a stomach that's really squeezing tightly and there's a lot of swirling colors everywhere. And it's really destructive. I mean, it really wants to hurt. Whatever this is, is just really aggravated. It's not, it's not warm, you know. It's not a welcoming reflection. And so we need to touch it with love and heal it. We're trying to soften the grip so we can let go of the boy that's in there. He's, he doesn't have any clothes on. I mean, the... He just, he's just been in this grip forever is what it feels like. I mean, I don't know how old he is. Maybe he's eight years old or so. I do, he's kind of skinny, so I can't really tell. I can't tell his height. I can't tell, but he's a young boy, maybe eight to ten years old. I don't know. There's something really aggravating, even like, like, like a slap to the face, you know? Like, like a slap to the face that wasn't deserved, you know? And I just feel like, like a aggressive energy around the sensation. Only way you could describe it would be like a parent slapping a child in the face and then the parent's energy is surrounding the child and then gripping the child really tightly. And so the child feels suffocated by this violent energy. This, uh, that's the only way that I can uh, analyze the reflection. Because if reflection is really just aggressive in a way that it just wasn't deserved, you know? And it stinks, is what it feels like. It's just, I don't know what this means to you, but some part of your reflection was really hurt, and it stinks. It feels, it really just stinks, you know? It made a really stinky impression, <laughs> Like, it makes me want to cry, is what it does. They're asking me if I think his body is, is crying when I explore this. And I say, yeah. 
His body is crying. His body is crying. This feels like something else is crying too, from deep down inside. Something else that has a lot of meaning and that deserves to, to be seen. It's like a bulb that flickers and then it's so deep, you know, we just, but that bulb needs to be seen and the bulb needs to be shining bright, not flickering, you know. It want, it just, it's something is, needs a little bit of more of a tender touch here. So I'm doing several things because all these images are taking place while I'm still examining. I literally a bulb inside of deep inside you. It's attached to your heart portal. It's sort of like there's a wall of your body and then there's hanging is a heart. And then kind of it's like burnt to the bottom of the heart is a little bulb that's flickering. So I'm actually just <laughs> I was inspired to screw it in tighter to make the light go on. But the way that it's sort of burnt to the heart, it just, I need to, I need to examine this really clearly. Because the bulb needs to come from within, the light needs to come from within the heart. It doesn't need to be hanging from the heart. So I'm bringing the light out from within the heart and helping that, that space to just be nurtured and healed so it's not burnt <laughs> sorry <laughs> sometimes like I do some prayer work in there and then it really I don't know the energy of God <laughs> sometimes it makes me sneeze so <laughs> I really um so as I'm, I'm focusing on bringing the light out from within your heart so I do prayer work with heaven and as actually doing the Hail Mary prayer we all all Catholics know <laughs> and then and then I get to see Mother Mary come and then shine her light and you start glowing everywhere. And then in the process of that, uh, all this energy just blasted in your heart and it just has made me sneeze. So it's really positive. It's very divine loving energy. It's very nurturing for your needs. Especially sort of Mother Mary energy because we're looking at a boy who just feels, you know, he needs a hug, you know. So we're really bringing the light out within your heart. And then I want to focus some too on this space with the boy because that's still a, a work in progress here. There's some really exhausted feeling. Like we've gone through quite a few layers in you and it's just you're feeling really exhausted by it. So if you're feeling exhausted after this, rest okay don't be afraid to rest and drink lots of water because that that is clearly the the reflect the message keeps saying that um and you're gonna i mean this has been touching you in a very deep way and i don't i mean that you've needed to you needed this very badly so you might feel a little weird like literally you could feel just a little bit weird for a few days like I just feel like something weird just happened to me and I don't know what to make of that. And then a few days later, you'll be like, I'm so glad that happened. I The weird is totally gone. I actually feel a lot better. I feel like I get it. I get something that I didn't wasn't able to get before. And now I feel a lot better. I'm just going to slow down 
because I don't want you, I mean, I can feel your energy field is feeling a little overwhelmed right now, and so I don't want to, I don't want to overwhelm you too much more. I'm just going to relax even more so, and we'll just softly touch everything, okay? I'm just putting water into that gripping with the boy. I don't know why, but I'm just going to put water, a stream of really gentle water in there. It's cool. And then I don't know why, but that something needs to soothe it. And I'm creating oxygen or the need to breathe from that space. So it's rela I'm relaxing it. It's like, who doesn't get relaxed from experiencing a peaceful brook, the sound of water, you know, or flowing brook or something like that, or the ocean or anything. And just water is very nurturing and healing. Everything is letting go. Just say, let go. Open up the need to grip. It just open up the need to grip and let it go. The boy is now out of the grip. I'm coming down to him. He seems confused. He seems alone. He just doesn't get where he is right now. He doesn't know anything else. I just... This is your inner, some part of your inner child is, was experiencing this. And your inner child's kind of confused. And so, because it just got released from the really tight grip. <laughs> and so we're going to work with some angels here to nurture your inner child. So you deserve to feel loved. You deserve to experience love, be held by love, feel love all around you, and really inhale the experience of love. You're really receptive to this. I mean, this boy is sort of in a shock state of love is here love finally came here <laughs> really <laughs> I, I i like where this is going but yet i don't know yet <laughs> so there's just there's definite a receptiveness to it but not an embrace of it just yet <clears throat> he's walking towards love love comes to him in the form of an angel it's interesting because this angel has, I don't know, um, a dress that is flowing in the wind, although there's no wind here at all. So the dress is in motion, and it's got quite a pattern on it. Usually you don't see them in very fancy gowns, like patterned gowns or anything, but there's something beautiful about this. It's almost like it, it's like a, a really cute apron over a white dress or something. I just... It's got something stitched like flowers and stuff, and it would be like red and white, and then it's got red, some red flowers, and then some yellow ones, and there's something really homey about it. There's something really sort of grandma-like or motherly, or I don't know. There's something I like about it. It's something very trustworthy for a child to see, you know, the woman in the apron, and but a smile, like a real genuine warm, you know, oh, come here, sweetie. Let me give you a hug and help you feel better. Something about it. This angel has really got something going on here with this. I mean, it's like a, it's like an angel that, that holds children. It's like specifically an angel that holds children. I mean, I just saw an angel like this. I mean, that this angel looks different, but um, like a divine feminine angel specifically for helping with the inner child, uh, just heal, nurturing this these childlike reflections, like nursing them back to health, kind of 
thing. And this is, I've seen two now. Uh, this is the first time I've ever seen one. I mean, in the last two days, I've seen two of them. It's, uh, I love it. I totally dig it. <laughs> I'm mesmerized right now. I'm sort of in the mesmerized moment now. She's welcoming, <clears throat> she's d basically down d down to his level so they can look eye to eye. And she's got her arms out to him. And then she's welcoming to come, him to come and then so she can hold him. So, he's saying so she can hold you is what they're saying. She's welcoming you. She wants you to come to her so she can hold you and heal you in her arms. She's very loving. She has, she's got, it's almost like her hair's long and it's got perfect little curls here towards the bottom and it just some curl up here. I mean, it's perfect. The hair's perfect. They're always perfect, you know, this is. She's beautiful. She's so beautiful. She's so feminine. She's got light brown hair. She's got such a warm smile. She's very soft. She's rosy. I mean, you could call her rosy. There's some rosy red sort of pinkish hue of energy that comes from her. As you come towards her, the boy's face is sort of changing. He was looking younger, more so like a four or five year old boy. And this boy is coming to her just naturally, instinctively, and really being smothered by this rosy energy that she shares. I mean, it's like a perfume, <laughs> and it's it's a vapor of energy, and it's pink and red. It's rosy. <laughs> She's very sweet. She's very soft. She's very patient. She's very calm. She's very nurturing. She's holding you right now, and you're welcoming it 100%. <laughs> You're even relaxing and drifting off right now. You feel really relaxed and peaceful. This was exactly what you needed. So I'm just staying with it for a minute because the energy is really, really good for you. And after all that work, you deserve this. There's something, I need to at least say this because the image changes to a motherly angel who is a skeletal of image. So, so, so as Rosie holds you, there's like a lightning bolt that strikes and the image changes. And then we see sort of like a skeletal sort of mother. I don't, I'm not sure what that means, but it's kind of scary. The child, I mean, what child wants to be held by the skeleton mother? <laughs> I don't know. But then the, the lightning strikes and then we see a very warm, soft, you know, Rosie's back with the angel. There's some part of your reflection that, that sometimes it just, this is part of your reflection that needs healed. And since it just, it keeps, it, the lightning strikes and then it flips like a card. So one side of the card is this way, one side is this way. The truth is you're here with Rosie and there's nothing else. doesn't matter wh what your part of you feels like that this something can't be trusted is what it feels like and because it feels like something can't be trusted this must be worse than i think you know there's some part of you as in a resistant state although that is part of the healing so i'm being patient with it so to get the card to slow down and realize that that is not what the experience is 
And so I'm helping that mental, emotional cavity to sort of wiggle out and then trust in this experience with Rosie. You needed to know that and you needed, I, I needed to take the extra time to heal that. And so that is healing. All right, Greg, I'm going to stop there now. Thank you for this amazing experience. And so again, just be go easy on yourself. Get a lot of sleep if you need sleep. And then drink lots of water. Get a lot of fresh air. And you're going to be feeling awesome. And so give it a couple days. If you feel weird, it's because we touch some really deep spots that you don't you kind of keep hidden. And so that can make you feel a weird, emo just like you just feel weird, you know. And so give it a couple of days and you'll start to be like, wow, I, I really feel like rejuvenated. I feel different. I feel happier in ways that I haven't felt in a while. So just let a couple of days pass and your body is going to process all this. You're going to feel awesome. All right. So thank you for this experience. It's, it's very memorable. I really liked the rosy angel too. It's, and all your angels and all the, the fairy and everybody that showed up is really sweet. All right, so I'm wishing you a great day. And for those of you watching, if you'd like to experience spiritual healing with me, you may do so by visiting my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Thank you for watching. <laughs>